All right, the first upgrade you're going to want on your scene loft, and it's probably going to be the most important one, is the depth module. Well, any any depth module you can get. The depth module is going to allow you to go deeper in the water, and it's going to be something that you're going to need if you're going to want to be using your scene loft for, well, basically anything until you get to the Lost River, because you can take it anywhere aside from the Lost River. So, yeah, depth module is the first thing and the most important thing. Most important upgrade, my gosh. That you're going to want on your CMOP. Now the second most important upgrade that you're going to want is the perimeter defense. Now the perimeter defense is basically going to give you immunity from dang near every creature in this game aside from Ampios. Yeah because they're the only thing that, that aren't um, affected by perimeter defense. So let's say you're driving your CMOP around and like a Leviathan runs up on you and you're scared and you don't know what to do. If you have perimeter defense, well, you're instantly safe because all you have to do is pop it one time and it'll ward off Leviathans, uh, Bone Sharks, any any aggressive creature that comes after you while you're in your CMOP. All you need is perimeter defense and it's like instant get out of jail free call. It's sort of like the stasis rifle in, in the sense of how useful it is in deterring creatures. All right, moving on to the next upgrade. Next upgrade you're going to want in your CMOP. So, so far we have a depth module, whether it's Mark 1 or Mark Mark 2, Mark 1, Mark 2, or Mark 3, you're going to want a depth module on your CMOP, and we have the perimeter defense. And now the next thing you're going to want is the sonar. Let me uh, demonstrate. So the sonar basically lets you see, lets you see like freaking mile away whenever you're in your CMOP. Now this is especially useful if you're going into like areas that have, that are a little bit darker or that have like murky water, like the, like the crash zone, for example. So it makes both creatures and the landscape around you super easy to see whenever you're going to areas that are either dark or hard to see and because of the water but some of the areas in this game i mean the water can be can be a little little, little weird look so yeah sonar extremely useful lets you see a lot more than you'd be able to see just by simply looking with your regular eyes so the last upgrade that you're going to want on your steam is the solar charger so so far we have the depth module we have the perimeter event and we have sonar and the last thing you're going to want is the solar because your sea moth isn't going to be able to go into like the deepest deepest parts of the game so you're mainly going to be using it like in the surface biomes where the sun, you know, you'll be able to get hit by the sun. And if you have the solar solar charger, then you'll almost never have to recharge your battery because it'll recharge on its own. But while you're using it and if you're not using it, you're just letting it sit around. Then if you have the solar charger on, you basically never have to recharge this thing because it recharges on its own. Now it's going to recharge while I'm driving around. I'm just going at a regular, I'm going at the fastest speed the CMOS can go at, and it's still just like going up steady. And if you use your abilities, I mean, those drain energy as well, but it'll just stop the little timer for like a few seconds and then it'll just keep recharging. You'll never have to get out. The only time you'll actually have to get out and like do maintenance on this thing is to repair it if it gets damaged or something. Other than that, you won't have to recharge your thing ever again if you have the solar charge. So yeah, those are the four best upgrades that I think you should put on your CMOS. So you got the, you got your depth module right here, you got your permanent defense to ward off any creatures that may come after you, aside from the ampule, because it does work on them. You got your sonar for low visibility areas, and then you got the solar charger. So you'll never have to recharge the bat. And that is all I have for y'all, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.